Hello, my name is Pat Slattery. I am a councillor in Greenwich and I have cabinet responsibility for housing, neighbourhoods and homelessness. Want to rent a home but don't know where to start? This video will talk you through the 10 steps you need to take to rent a home. Think about what sort of property you want and which best suits your lifestyle. For example, if you have a pet, need parking, spaces or furniture. You should also think about where you want to live. Some parts of the UK are much cheaper than others, so expanding your search may help you find a property. Once you've done this, make a list of your essential search criteria. You can then look online at websites like Your Move, Home Finder UK, Right Move and Zoopla. You can also visit a local estate agent's office. After you've seen a property you like, you should check the rent and see if you can afford the monthly payments. You should then contact the letting agent or landlord to set up a viewing. It's also a good idea to make a list of questions to ask. Here are some important ones. How much is the rent per month? What additional bills are there? How much deposit is needed? Where will my deposit be protected? Are there any extra upfront charges? How long is the contract? Who should I contact in the case of an emergency? What insurance does the landlord have to cover the property? Most private landlords ask you to pay at least a month's rent in advance. Your landlord will usually ask for a tenancy deposit too. The tenancy deposit will be refunded to you at the end of your tenancy, as long as you haven't damaged the property. There are benefits and grants you can claim to help with rent. You usually need to show a tenancy agreement in order to make a claim. You can contact the Council's welfare advice team for more information on universal credit and housing benefit. What if you see a no DSS policy or advert? No DSS policies are bans on renting to tenants who claim universal credit or housing benefit. No DSS policies and adverts are unlawful discrimination. You can complain to the Council if you see these adverts or if an agent will not deal with you because you claim benefits. Before securing your tenancy, landlords or letting agents may ask for documents such as recent bank statements or pay slips, proof of benefits awards, your employment contract or accounts if you work for yourself. Landlords and agents must also check your right to live in the UK. Before you sign your contract, make sure you read the document carefully contact us if there's anything you're unsure about. You should also agree an inventory or check-in report with your landlord and make sure that you take photos. This will make things easier if there's a dispute about the deposit at the end of the tenancy. If you're happy with the inventory, sign it and keep a copy. You should also take meter readings when you move in. This will help make sure you don't pay for the previous tenant's bills. Finally, make sure that you have the correct current details for the landlord or agent and you keep them handy. These should be given to you. Your landlord must make sure your home is safe and free from health hazards. They make sure all gas equipment and electrical equipment is safely installed and maintained, provide an energy performance certificate, give you a gas safety certificate, Arrange gas safety checks every 12 months by a gas safe registered engineer. Protect your deposit in a government approved scheme. Give you a copy of the how to rent checklist. Provide smoke alarms on each floor and carbon monoxide detectors in any room with a coal fire or wood burning stove. Your landlord is also responsible for the following repairs. Electrical wiring, gas pipes and boilers, heating and hot water, chimneys and ventilation, sinks, baths, toilets, pipes and drains, common areas including entrance halls and stairways, 
the structure and exterior of the building. As a tenant, you should take good care of the property, pay the agreed rent, pay other charges, for example, council tax or utility bills. Give your landlord access to the property to make repairs or inspections. Repair or pay for any damage caused by you, your friends or family. Be considerate to your neighbours. Regularly test smoke alarms. As a tenant, you have the right to live in a property that's safe and in a good state of repair, have your deposit returned when the tenancy ends, unless the landlord has valid reasons to make deductions, challenge excessively high charges, know who your landlord is, live in the property undisturbed, see an energy performance certificate for the property, be protected from unfair eviction and unfair rent, have a written agreement if you have a fixed term tenancy of more than three years. You now have all the information you need to begin your search for a new home. If you need any support or help, please contact our team on 0208 921 2863.